Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful box. Check it. I'm heading out to Joshua Tree, California to hang out with my buddy Ben from Homemade Modern and I thought I would make him a little gift. So I have this beautiful piece of old, old mahogany here that we're going to make a box out of. It's a little, it's a little wonky, so I'm going to joint one face, plane the other face, and basically just surface all the sides to get it ready. Then we're gonna resaw it down the middle to give us all the sides that we need. So now I have my board all milled up. It's a half inch thick. I'm going to make two long sides that are 10 inches and two short sides that are four and a half inches. I've already gone ahead and set my blade to 45 degrees and made that first cut. I have my fence here. I'm gonna put a piece of wood there. That's gonna be my stop so I can get two even pieces. You don't want your fence to interfere with your miter gauge when you're doing cross cuts like this. That's why I have this loose piece right here. That way nothing's getting trapped and thrown back at your face. You don't want that. This is just the miter gauge that came with my saw. I screwed in a back. So I'm gonna cut two pieces here. There are the two long sides. I'm not worried about grain direction around the box because this mahogany is pretty even toned. So now I'm going to measure for the two short sides. I'm going to cut a groove in the bottom and the top of all four pieces for the bottom and the lid. I have my blade set to about a third of the thickness. And so I'm going to run everything through twice. So I'm looking at that groove and I think it's a little too thin because I need to make a rabbit that's gonna fit in there. So I'm just gonna nudge my fence over and run everything through again just to make that groove a touch wider. So now with this piece of wood, I'm going to make the lid and the bottom. The lid and the bottom are going to be exactly the same and it's going to stick up a little bit. So I need to cut a rabbit along this side and a rabbit along this side. It's gonna take a couple passes because of the thickness of my blade. I could throw in a dado set to speed this up. I could also do this at the router with a bit to speed this up but I don't mind doing it in a couple passes. So there is my first pass. And that's gonna fit in there like so. As you can see, I need to make another pass so that goes into that groove a little bit deeper. You can see how this is going to go together like so. So now we also need to make that rabbit on the ends and then also cross cut this to fit. That's a good fit. I'm happy with that. So we're gonna glue this together and then cut the lid off. I am not going to reinforce these miter joints. In the past, I've added splines, but this time I think we're gonna to be totally fine. So I'm gonna add glue to the end grain and then let that completely dry before we glue this up. What that's gonna do is it's gonna stop the glue from soaking into the wood on that second time that we add glue. I'm not putting any glue in the litter bottom. It's gonna float in there so it can expand and contract. Mm, like a glove. No clamps. 
So we took the clamps off, so now I'm over here at the bandsaw and we're gonna cut the lid off. Just gonna use the fence. Now that we got the lid cut off, I need a way for the lid to fit back on. So I'm going to resaw this into thin little strips and line the inside of this so it sticks up a little bit and this lid will fit right over top of that. I'm making the inside pieces. I'm trying to sneak up on the cut, but I'm getting my fingers a little bit too close to the blade on the table saw. If you have a shooting board and a plane, you can plane it down to fit. I just have this board with a 45 degree angle on there. That's gonna guide me to sand down to that perfect fit. I went ahead and sanded the inside faces because it's easier now. And we're just gonna glue this in there. I don't even need clamps because that is so tight. So I'm just gonna clean up that glue and then we'll make a handle. So I want to make a little, a little handle for the lid. I got this piece of wood here. I thought I was using mahogany on the inside. Turns out this was a piece of cherry. So the inside has cherry. So I might as well make that top out of cherry as well. I kind of drew on here, it almost looks like a little dovetail that I want to cut so you have a little, a little finger grip on there. So I set my blade to whatever random angle that was and I'm just going to run this through twice. Now I want to cut it down to size. My first thought was I have it the full length of this lid, but now I think I want it a little bit smaller and then also taper in the sides at that same 80 degree angle. Well, that'll do. The lid doesn't quite fit on there, so I'm just going to sand that down a little bit, give it a little, a little tune-up so that slides on there real nice. I think I'm also going to put a very, very little chamfer along the bottom of this, so when the lid is on there, it has a nice little shadow line. So this could be done. I want to do one more thing that could potentially screw up the whole box is I don't like the little gap that I'm getting between the lid and the lid. It's like it's inconsistent. So I have this inlay strip and I'm thinking about gluing that in there just to kind of give it some trim, cover that up. Since this is a gift for Ben, there is only one finish I can use, and that is Ben's company, Simple Finish. This stuff goes on real easy. Brush it on, come back, wipe it off, call it a day. Bottom of this guy, I wanna put it in a nice piece of leather. I am out here in beautiful Joshua Tree, California to deliver this box to Ben from Homemade Modern. He invited me out to his place to work on some videos. My favorite thing about this box is the trim that we added on the lid really sets this off. If you're looking for beautiful hardwoods, check out KenCraftCompany.com. I will have plans for this box in the description down below. We'll see you next week with a brand new project from right here in Joshua Tree, California. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.